Hello everyone. We are your friends from the Office of Early Childhood at the Mississippi Department of Education. My name is Michael and believe me, learning is always fun. And I'm Robin and I cannot wait to learn new things with you. And I'm Dynamic Dita. I love to investigate. I'm Oki and I like the hokey pokey. I also like to learn through song. I'm Marissa, and I like to make learning fun. And this is our mockingbird. He's our state bird, and he likes to send us a tweet every day. And I'm Candace. I like to show you different ways to do things. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. <laughs> Remix! Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away, we will learn through meaningful play about our theme and question of the day. Welcome, welcome, friends today, friends that are here and far away. Let's have fun! Welcome, friends. I'm so happy to see you today. Let's go visit the Mockingbird and see what he has tweeted us. What is a problem? And how can I solve a problem? Hmm. I'm going to invite Candace up here and see if she can help me figure out what a problem is and how we can solve it. Candace. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. So we have a question from our mockingbird. Oh. And the question is what is a problem? And how can I solve a problem? Mm, that can be complicated sometimes. So we're going to take a minute and we're going to look in our jar and we're going to see what some children responded when we were, when we asked them this question. That's are great. You, are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, oh, this is Drew. Drew is 11 years old and let's see what he says. He said a problem is 55 plus 22. <laughs> that is a problem, a math problem. You're right. <laughs> and so I asked him, how can you solve that problem, Drew? And he said, you add it. Uh, Drew, you're such a smart guy. He is a smart boy. I think he had just finished some math homework or something. Oh, uh, he had it on his mind. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else. All right. Oh, this is from Reed, and Reed is nine years old. Reed says a problem is when you have trouble putting pieces back together. Oh, yeah, that makes me think of a puzzle. When you're putting a puzzle together, I wonder how he solves it. Well, he says the way to solve it is to ask for help. That's a great idea. Yes, yes. Sometimes we can ask our friends for help. Sometimes we can ask an adult for help that we know, like our teacher or parents. All right, let's see what another one is. This is Heinz, and Heinz is seven. And Heinz says that a problem is something that is not right. That hmm. makes sense. That is, because so, it's a problem, it's not right. Right, how should we solve it? Heinz said we should add numbers. Now I think Heinz must be friends with Drew, because Drew said that too to add. They've been having a math discussion. I think they have been having a math discussion. Let's do one more. It's the All last right. one. Let's see what it says. This is from Raylan, and Raylan is nine. Raylan says a problem is when someone can't find something. That happens to me a lot, Marissa. Me too. Let's see what she says about how to solve it. Okay. By finding what's missing. Oh. So you mean your fork at lunchtime? You couldn't find it, could you? I couldn't find it anywhere. Mm -mm. She, it was missing. We had to find her fork. That's how we're going to solve that problem. So let's turn around and take a look behind us. And right here we have our vocabulary words. And this word is problem. And here's a picture. He's kind of scratching his head. He's wondering. That's a little Rubik's cube, and you have to get all the colors on the same side. Wow, and he's that thinking is, hard, isn't mm -hmm. he? That can be difficult. It is very difficult. And this word right here is a solution. And for solution, it's like, oh, a light bulb moment. Like, I get it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, can you help us 
with those two words and help us remember them? Well, sure. Okay. So how about I teach you the Spanish word for problem? Okay. It's very similar to the English word. All we have to say is problema. Problema. We just added an A on the end. Mm -hmm. And I don't forget it. to roll your R. Uh, yeah, that is, that's a problem for me. Mm -hmm. Problema. Problema. Very good. And I'm going to teach you the sign for problem. Are you ready? Yes. We're going to do up our knuckles like this, curl mm -hmm. our fingers up on both sides, mm -hmm. and we're going to do this way and this way, as in, as in something that doesn't fit together. Oh. That's a problem. That is a problem. Mm-hmm. Isn't that neat? That is neat. So okay. for solution, mm -hmm. our Spanish word is solución. Solución. Very similar to the English yes. word. And the sign for solution, we're going to put our hands up like two fans, mm -hmm. and we're going to move out and close our hand and stick our thumbs out. Let me show you. Almost like a snap, but not really. Yeah. So something was going on, and we figured it out. Yeah, I like that. We figured it out. Isn't that neat? Yes, it does. So I also have something else behind me. What's that? This is what's the problem. Mm. And sometimes we can use resources in a classroom um, to remind the children. We can say our problem out loud. Just like how Hans said his problem was math, or maybe it was Drew. Drew said his problem was 55 plus 22. Well, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the problem can be how you feel. Mm. Mm. Like when I couldn't find my fork. I bet you were a little mad. A little sad. Oh, sad. Mm. Uh, I bet you were. And so then we can talk it out. Hmm. Like when you talked out how to get your fork. I don't have a fork. And then I said, well, I can go look for a fork. No, we don't have time. So we, we did. We talked it out. And then we can work it out. Mm -hmm. And right now Candace is going to have to wait to get her fork. Right? So there's different ways to solve a problem. I am wondering right now if our friend Lydia, Lydia, you know, she visits the children in the classroom. Yes. And I wonder if she can help us. She's a great problem solver. She is. So will you come back and join me at the end? Sure. We'll See you later. That? Okay. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. So our friend Lydia is going to come on. Lydia, how are you? I'm great. Marissa. Well, good. So can, I'm going to go ahead and put these up. We were talking mm -hmm. about solving problems. And these were questions, or these were ways that children responded to solving a problem. Somebody said 55 plus 22, adding. That's a problem. And then somebody said to find what's missing. So I bet you have another way that we can help children. I do, I do. Okay. In my classroom, mm -hmm. we have block people. Block people? Yes. What is that? Well, they're kind of like puppets, uh -huh. but the children, my friends in the classroom, we can solve problems uh -huh. using our block people. Let me show you. Oh, I would love to see this. Don't y'all want to see this? Block people. Okay, and this is Grace. Grace. Mm -hmm. And Grace, she is, she doesn't look very happy. No, she, she looks a little sick. Sad. She's kind of sad. Yes, I see she's kind of sad. Uh -huh. And this is her friend Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, she's happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's got her thumbs up too. We did that with Candace. All right. Now, will you help me with the problem? I would love to help you with the problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'll be Grace. Okay. And you be Sarah. Okay. Okay. So. Hi, Grace. You look sad today. I am a little sad. Why are you sad? Well, I miss my mom. Oh, sometimes I miss my mom too. Hey, I bet we can go get Mr. Smith, our teacher, and see if he can help us. Do you think he can? I think so. Hi, girls. Oh, hello. This is, this right here is Grace, and she's sad, Mr. Smith. What's wrong, Grace? Well, I miss my mom. She dropped me off this morning, and I just miss her so much. Well, I tell you what. Let's see what we can do to help you feel better. 
I was about to go to the block area and play with Eric. You can join us or would you like to draw a picture for your mom that you can give her today when she picks you up? Which one would you like? That's a good choice. Oh, she's gonna say, Sarah, that's great. I don't know what you're gonna choose. I would like to draw a picture for my mom. Thanks, Mr. Smith, for helping Grace feel better. And thank you, Sarah, for helping Grace solve a problem. So Lydia, that was fun. That was almost, that made me think of a puppet. It's like Sometimes a puppet Sometimes we show. put puppets on our hands and we talk and mm -hmm. that was wonderful. I think you have one more fun thing to show us to have a good reminder. Because yeah. sometimes when we're in the classroom or at home and we're talking, Sometimes people talk in their mean voice. They get that mean voice out and they're yelling. And you have what? This is a reminder for boys and girls to use their honey voice, their sweet voice. Oh. Yeah, to use kind words. And we keep that in the classroom so we can remember that. Lydia, you always have a kind voice and you're always using your honey voice with me. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm now going to share this I'm gonna put this over to the side. I'm gonna save it for when we reflect with Candace, and I'm gonna ask Lemuel to come up. Okay. And well, y'all have fun. Okay. I enjoy it. Thank you. So, while Lydia is gathering her stuff, we're gonna go ahead and invite Lemuel to come on up. Hey, Lemuel. friend. Hey, artist friends. How, How y'all doing? We're doing well. How are you? Good. I brought you some flowers. Thank you. I'm gonna put those Thank right you, here. Happy. So we've been talking about what a problem is and how we can solve it. And Lydia had these wonderful block people. Never heard of them before. I've always heard of puppets. And so she showed me how we could tell a story. Are they square? They are square. <laughs> they are. And I bet, without a doubt, that you have to solve a lot of problems in art. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to think a lot. Mm -hmm. and you have to be patient. Make okay. You try. Really? Okay. Yes. So let's let's get started. Can't wait to see what you have for us today. Well, I thought I would. You know, flowers are here. beautiful, but sometimes after a while they they die. That's a problem. They don't last forever. Mm -mm, they don't. So I thought we could maybe draw them and then we could paint. Um. So. And my, I'm sorry. You said that we would have to what? We're going to draw. I got you a little board here, and there's your. Draw a flower? Yes. Do you want one with a little. Um, I can't draw a flower. Can we use this right here? <gasps> what is that? Um, it's. Is that a color sheet? It is. Well, yeah, you said we could draw a flower. We're going to be artists. We're going to draw and create something from nothing. That's a good problem to solve, right? Well, you are going to help me solve this problem. So let's just put problem. this out of the way. Okay, all right. That's someone else's idea. We're going to okay. create something on our own. Okay. So we're going to draw these flowers mm -hmm. and we're going to look at it for a moment. Let's just take a moment and let's look real close right here. If you Take a moment, you can see some curvy lines, kind of zigzag lines, right? Mm hmm And you know how to draw a curvy zigzag line, right? You're making, I do. You're making a circle, but it's got it's zigzags. Mm hmm And then look at the petals of the leaves. There's curved lines, and they go round and up and down. Well, I can draw curved lines. But all the trick is to drawing is only look at one part at, at one time. And uh, after you draw that, then you draw the next piece. So, oh, okay. 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 So okay. see, that's, that's not a hard problem, right? You help me solve that. Okay. So what you do is you put your pencil down and mm -hmm. you pick a spot. And I like to imagine there's a little bug and he's crawling around. And as he's crawling, he's making a little mark. Hmm. And then you look and pick another spot. Okay. And you're going to draw 
then this curved line goes up and over and down and then back up and then it touches the zigzag line. Uh, and then you keep calling. It's like a puzzle, putting the pieces together. And see, artists draw from real life things. They don't use something that's already created. Mine looks different than yours, though. That's because you're looking at it from a different perspective. You're at, over there, and I'm over here. Oh, I am. I'm oh. looking at it a different way. So I. Like, so it's not wrong. No, every everything is huh. going to be just fine. You're solving a problem your way, and I'm solving mine my way. Oh, there's different ways to solve a problem. Yes. Hmm. See, sometimes you have to just create something from nothing. There's not always going to be something there ready for you. So you have to use your imagination, be patient, and solve the problem. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, wow, look at yours. Well, yours is way better than mine. No, yours is gorgeous too. Look, we are solving a problem with both. Okay, now okay. we are going to paint. I love to paint. Which one do you want? To do? Oh, I want this one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I have no. to wet the paint. I like marking out very this well. This is water in a little spray bottle. Uh huh. And you moist. My problem was, is it was supposed to be dry, and I so used the wrong color. you wash, rinse, and then you blot. Oh. Wash. So I'm going to paint the background first. Why are you doing the um, background first? Because I haven't decided what color I want to paint my flower yet. So I'm going to wait on that. Pro that can be a problem. Sometimes you don't know what to do right at that moment. So you have to take a moment and think okay. about it. Watch, Should I do the same as you? Um, you can do your own. You can so can I do my green? You can and do yours Because I see that the stem right there is green. Is that okay? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so um, I washed rinse, blot, change colors. That helps your paint stay clean. Um, so don't mess the paint up. Okay. No. You have to wash, wash, rinse, blot. Rinse, blot. I've never blotted before. It kind of dries off. Oh, sorry. Mm -mm, you're good. I'm going to use this yellow. I see a bright yellow in the middle. Wash, rinse, blot. I'm going to do green now. If I'm going to use the same color again, do I need to wash and rinse it? No. Can I just stick it back in there? You can just stick it back in there. Okay. And I need to wait till you do yours. That would be a problem. We bumped into each other. Uh, so see, I was, I needed mm -hmm. to wait, take turns. You know, sometimes um, when children are working together, that happens. And they have to learn too. I notice you're using red for your flowers. I'm going to use red too. Because if you look at the petals, you know how it has a shadow? So mm -hmm. I'm using a dark color for the shadow and the light color for the highlight. So what happens if we go out of line like this? Like, I noticed your yours is a little bit neater, and I'm kind of going out of the lines. What happens? Um, well, you could take your time and just kind of follow and outline your your line, mm -hmm. or you can just um, if you accidentally go out, like you were saying, you could mm -hmm. use your background and cover that up. So, like the blue may co can go around and cover. Because see right oh. here, I, I went over mm -hmm. and I was able to cover that up. 
So Lemuel, I know that we are almost finished talking about this and I can't thank you enough for teaching me how to use the water and the brush and to wash, rinse, and blot. blot. See how I, it didn't mm -hmm. splatter everywhere? It didn't splatter. That would have been a problem if it splattered. But this was all done without using a color sheet. Yes, see much, Wonderful. how much more original it is? Yes, that was wonderful. How is that? Oh yeah, they're different for sure. So, while you're gathering your stuff up, I'm gonna get out of your way because I've got Candace. All right. And she's coming back for a reflection and I've gotta show her something. Well, I'm gonna leave this so you can show it to her. Okay. And have a good time. Enjoy right. your flowers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're all tangled up. Okay, so Candace. Hi, Marissa. What you doing? Candace, we have had fun over here painting and solving problems in art. And I have one thing I've got to show you, but before I show you, can you tell me why you have a dog in your hand? So this is my friend, Chloe. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I have a problem and I'm not sure how to solve it, it gives me sad feelings. But when I hold my friend Chloe and squeeze on her or pet her, it mm -hmm. makes me feel better. Would you like to try it? Um, yes, I would love to try Chloe. And you just hold her? I just hold her. And I just... And I can squeeze her or pet her, and it makes me feel better. You know, that's why they say that all these dogs are comforting and pets, comfort dogs. I like that. Can I show you another thing? Please do. So I'm going to hand you Chloe back, and I'm going to be gentle with it. Thank you. So one of my friends in her classroom, she has this wonderful picture, and she uses it in her classroom to solve problems. Can I show you? Please do. Okay, so, now I don't want you to be scared because uh -oh. it is, it looks like a person, but oh. it's not. Well, let's Are see. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this <gasps> right here. Wow. This is Queen Asker. She is very fancy. And Queen Asker, she knows all, she sees all, and she hears all. Oh. And sometimes in the classroom, the children can get really loud and talking and, and the teacher can go, what, huh, huh, Queen Oscar? What do you, what do you hear? You hear the kids getting loud? <gasps> and then everybody starts lowering their voice because they don't want Queen Oscar to hear them getting, or lo getting loud. Mm -hmm. And one time there were some marker tops on the floor and Queen Oscar saw it. And then it reminded everybody to pick up those t those marker tops and put the tops back on the markers so they wouldn't dry out. Wow. So we have a lot of ways to solve some problems here. We had, look behind you, we had a honey voice. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Honey. Honey. That's we'll, so sweet. We use a sweet voice. And then we had some block people. These block people? Mm -hmm. They are bought people. Wow. Mm -hmm. We just took pictures and we put people on them and we told a story. Wow. Yes, and, and the friend helped. They went to go see the teacher and the teacher helped solve the problem. Mm -hmm. What a great idea. And then we learned about um, art and how it's not good to draw on a color sheet and use your natural resources and draw. And I remember one last thing, you helped us with our word problem and consequence. So problem in Spanish is proble problema. Problema. We just added an A on the end, remember? Yes. And the sign for problem, remember we had the pieces like they weren't fitting together? Yeah, it makes me think of a puzzle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And for solution, the Spanish word is solucion. Solucion. And the sign, like this. Thank you, Candace. Sure. Thank you for helping us learn how to solve problems today. And until next time, farewell. farewell. Friends, we hope you had fun today. Be sure and join us again next time for more adventures. And for more fun activities, you can always go to our website at mdek12.org forward slash ec. 
Farewell, farewell, friends, today. Friends that are here and far away. We have learned a lot through play about our theme and question of the day. Farewell, farewell, friends, today. It's time to go till another day. Farewell.